Magandang umaga po. I am pleased to inform you and the Filipino people Breaking news! Naku po, eto na. Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, viral na naman matapos ang isang nakakagimbal na anunsyo. Eto matindi, dahil hindi ito basta-basta anunsyo lamang mga kababayan. Siguradong good news din ito sa marami nating kababayan. Talaga namang round the clock ang pagtatrabaho ng ating Pangulo para matupad lahat ang pangako niya noong panahon pa ng kampanya. Grabe talaga to, talagang kaabang-abang at interesting news for today. Kaya naman mga kababayan, huwag na natin itong patagalin pa. Samahan niyo ko at sabay-sabay nating alamin ang mga maiinit na balita sa araw na ito. Tinupad ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ngayong araw, yes, today mga kababayan, ang isa sa kanyang mga pangako sa kampanya ang magtayo ng mga proyektong infrastruktura na magbabago sa buhay ng mga Pilipino. Pinangunahan ng Pangulong BBM ang groundbreaking ng Cavite Calax Link sa Kawit, Cavite at ng Cavite C5 Link Segment 3B sa Paranaque City at ang inauguration ceremony ng Cavite C5 Link Sukat Interchange. Sinabi ni Pangulong Marcos na ang Cavite Calax Link na nagmumula sa Kawit ay isang 1.2 kilometers na koneksyon na kung tutuusin ang haba ay maaring maitli. Ngunit ang epekto naman nito sa ating mga kababayan ay magiging malaki at magdadala ng mga ka- makabuluhang pagpapabuti sa koneksyon sa network ng kalsada mula sa Kawit hanggang Calabarzon. Sinabi ng Pangulo na siya ay nalulugod na pinasinayahan ang angkop na centerpiece na ito na mag-uugnay sa ilang mga pangunahing kalsada sa sukat sa Cavitex na inaasahang magdadala ng maayos, ligtas at kaginhawaan mula Cavitex R1 hanggang sukat Paranaque City sa loob lamang ng limang minuto. Sinabi niya ang bagong infrastruktura ay magdudulot ng isang dramatikong pagbubuti mula sa karaniwang isang oras na paglalakbay sa pamamagitan ng mga makasalukuyang pampublikong kalsada mula sa Kawit Cavite at nagtatakdang makinabang ng regular sa humigit kumulang 23,000 na mga sasakyan at mapahusay ang kahusayan sa paglalakbay at mapadali ang pagkukumyut ng mga motorista. Ang panghuli, sinabi din ni PBBM na ang isa pang kapaki-pakinabang na proyekto ay ang Cavite C5 Link Expressway Segment 3B na isang dalawang kilometrong kalsada mula sa Sukat Interchange papuntang E. Rodriguez sa C5 Road, Taguig City naman. Sinabi ni Pangulong Marcos na ang Cavite C5 Blink Expressway Segment 3B ay inaasahang bawasan ang oras ng paglalakbay mula sa Cavite X R1 Expressway Section patungo sa SLEC C5 Road mula sa 40 minutes na pwedeng maging 10 minutes travel na lang ito kapag ito ay natapos na. Bago tapusin ang kanyang talumpati, hinimok ni Pangulong Marcos ang sambay ng Pilipino na samantalahin ang mga expressway at maranasan mismo ang kadalian at kaginhawaan na idudulot ng mga kalsada sa kanilang pang-araw-araw na buhay. Sinabi ni Pangulong Marcos na dapat ding samantalahin ng taong bayan ang pagsususpinde ng paniningin ng toll fee para sa lahat ng uri ng sasakyang dadaan sa Manila, Cavite Toll Expressway sa Taguig, Paranaque, Las Piñas, Bacoor at Kawit sa loob ng 30 days. Ang Philippine Reclamation Authority ay ang operator ng Cavitex. Pinasalamatan ni Pangulong Marcos ang pribadong sektor, partikular ang Philippine Reclamation Authority, ang Cavitex Infrastructure Corporation at ang Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation para sa pagtutulungang pagsisikap sa pagsasakatuparan ng mga punong barko sa ilalim ng public-private partnership. When I assumed office nearly two years ago, I brought with me a promise to carry on the building of infrastructure projects that will benefit our economy and our people. It's not just now build, 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 but build better more, because Filipinos deserve nothing less than that. So I stand here today to deliver on that promise with the groundbreaking of the Cavitex Calax Link in Kawit Cavite and the Cavitex C5 Link Segment 3B in Paranaque City and of course the inauguration of the Cavitex C5 Link Sukat Interchange. These three milestone projects bring to reality our promise to transform the lives of millions of Filipinos by systematically easing traffic flow in the Greater Metro Manila area. The cavite Calax link originating from Kawit cavite is a 1.2-kilometer connection whose length may be short, but its impact will be substantial. With this, we anticipate a significant improvement in the road network connectivity from Kawit to the Greater Calabarzon region. 
By establishing a direct connection to Calax, we also ease the traffic congestion at the busy intersection of Tirona Highway and Centennial Road. A while ago, we just did a quick inaugural drive through the Cavitex C5 Link Sukat Interchange. It is part of the newly completed Cavitex C5 Link Expressway second, uh, Segment 2. I am pleased to have inaugurated this fitting centerpiece that will connect several major roads in Sukat with Cavitex. With this interchange, motorists will now be able to travel smoothly, safely, and conveniently from Cavitex R1 to Sukat Paranaque within just five minutes. It is a dramatic improvement from the usual one-hour travel time via existing public roads from Kawit Cavite. This segment is set to benefit around 23,000 vehicles a day. And uh, I was just mentioning when that fair, fair figure came out, I said, maliit yan. Before you know it, that 23,000 uh, uh, motorists that uh, we are estimating for now, that will fill up very quickly as soon as they see the advantages of uh, traveling on this uh, really what is the bypass and circular route around the, the city. This will enhance our travel efficiency and ease commutes for our citizens. Finally, we have the Cavitex C5 Link Expressway Segment 3B. This is a two kilometer road coming from Sukat Interchange going to E. Rodriguez in C5 Road, Taguig. Upon completion, we expect that the travel time from Cavitex R1 expressway section to uh, 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 Slex C5 Road will, be, will greatly be reduced from what is now 40 minutes to 10 minutes. But uh, this, this, these are, these are uh, very rough figures. You have to, we have to put into that, uh, you have to impute into that uh, formulation. Uh, the delays that come on because of going into what uh, are referred to sometimes as the surface roads that go into uh, the city, into Metro Manila. Pagka na, naka-iwas tayo dun, napakalaking bagay. And I think that, uh, again, uh, our estimates, although already optimistic, I think will very quickly um, become uh, Will, will very quickly be filled up and surpass. Uh, so, uh, but that is a good uh, that is a good thing because that means that the traffic that is going from uh, the different parts of the country uh, through up up north, through uh, down south, through Man and no longer through Manila will immediately in, in, will immediately enjoy all those benefits of a much easier, much faster and much simpler uh, and we don't need to worry that much about traffic as we are uh, having to do now and that will again uh, be to the benefit of our small businessmen to our farmers and all of those who require transportation for their uh, livelihood so it also marks the final step in completing the Cavitex C5 link expressway enhancing our transportation infrastructure network on behalf of countless motorists and passengers. So I now invite my fellow Filipinos to take advantage of our expressways. Experience firsthand the ease and convenience that these roads will bring to our daily lives. This is especially so after receiving the good news that the PRA or the Philippine Reclamation Authority as operator of the Cavitex proposed to suspend the collection of toll fees for all types of vehicles passing through the Manila-Cavite Toll Expressway in Taguig, Paranaque, Las Piñas, Bacoor, and Cavite for 30 days. And this will uh, introduce our, uh, our new, our new uh, roads to uh, expressways to uh, those who are in need of that transport system. So we welcome this call and thank the PRA for its initiative to help mitigate the impact of rising fuel costs to our motors. I now, count, I now count on our toll regulatory board to ensure the immediate implementation for the benefit of the riding and the, trans, the transport public. Ladies and gentlemen, these flagship PPP projects are the results of a great deal of hard work 
thorough planning and collaborative efforts of the Philippine Reclamation Authority, the Cavitex Infrastructure Corporation, and of course, its principal company, the Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation. We thank you for making these monumental endeavors possible. We also give our sincerest gratitude to the architects, the engineers, construction workers, the project managers, and all the individuals involved in these accomplishments. You are the reason why we can turn blueprints into actual reality. And I assure you that your work, your patience, and your sacrifice will leave a lasting impact on our country and on our people. And we give thanks, of course, to the Filipino public for their patience, understanding, and support while we work to complete these large projects. As always, as I always say, uni unity is at the heart of these undertakings, and we have come this far because we have worked together in building these structures. So let us carry on with that promise that we have made to build better more. Let us not just build roads, let us build connections that will unite and bring us closer than ever and create pathways that will be, that will be the stream through which our vibrant society will pulse. With all of it, we are creating a nation where Filipinos may easily access and traverse our communities and have a comfortable and productive time as they do it. That is the vision of a bagong Pilipinas that we are striving to build. And I know that it is a vision which we all share and care deeply about. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas.